So I came out to the cinema to see if anybody was wearing costumes, and I came out to find out to be disappointed. And no, it is. And not only that, but they're not even showing it here. The place I went to a little earlier, uh, it is showing it. I didn't see anybody in costume, so I guess no one's dressing up for the Hunger Games here in the city. But in other news, I am only 36 chap pages away from finishing the second book, Catching Fire. And 36 pages, that's like just slightly bigger than the average Harry Potter, Harry Potter chapter, so I think I'll finish it tonight. And I'll give you hopefully a full review tomorrow. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and read, since there's nothing else to do. Couldn't get into a midnight showing because they were sold out, but yet I come to these theaters and there's still lots of tickets. And they're not even, people don't even see up or showing up. Such is life. I'm too tired to go to the cinema tonight anyway. I'm gonna wait to go with my friends. Have a good night. All alone in abandoned mall. <laughs> well, not really abandoned, but nearly deserted mall. So I'm here in the park a lot later than I wanted to uh, to do a photo shop for Hunger Games. And so I, I got dressed up in black and I tied this belt around to make it look like I have a quiver of bows, but I don't have one. So I'm going to Photoshop one in later. So right now I'm trying to find like a woodsy area to take some photos. Although I didn't expect the park to be this busy on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, who would have thought the park would be busy on a Saturday afternoon? So I'm gonna look around, hopefully I can find a nice quiet place, shoot some photos, and get back and get ready to do this, some photoshopping later. Um, so I finished the second book, it was great. I couldn't believe how good it was. I'm now on the third book. Oh yeah, I got a haircut. Um, in case you weren't watching the previous scene. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go find a spot now. Yeah, I just came back from seeing the Hunger Games movie and it was actually pretty good. I would say about an 80% adoption to the book and I'm very happy. Um, this is Maki J for those of you who don't know. Third book. This will be third movie sometime in 2014, 2015. Anyway, yeah, so hopefully. Uh, it was actually really good. The audience, people who never read the book seemed to like it too, so I was really, I was very impressed. So I'm gonna take some quick photos of me dressed as Senna, but yeah, so there's a go golden eyeshadow. Golden, I know it's the golden eyeshadow. It's like that. It's the best I could do for Senna, so I just dressed in black and went to Macy's and asked if I could try some golden eyeshadow off on a nice lady who put it on for me at the MAC makeup department. I guess I'm plugging here. So remember, um, the gold, a gold eyeshadow would be Senna. Go to the MAC makeup department, it's a brand. Uh, not just a computer, um, at Macy's, and they will help you out. So that's it, I'm gonna put on some, so good. Well, that's it, I'm gonna take some photos now of me dressed in Santa. Hope you enjoy them. Hello everyone, I'm here in a beautiful garden in the middle of nowhere, and I am enjoying Mockingjay. I am on the second half now, this book is really good. Don't wanna spoil it for any of you, but all I will say, the part I'm at is it, it is a tough nut to crack. Those of you who read the book, or know about the book, should know exactly where I'm at. So that's what's going on. Other than that, um, seeing the movie was really good. Catching Fire was really good. The, the book, and not the movie, because it doesn't set out yet. Um, the first movie just barely came out. Um, that's about it. Um, allergies have been killing me. Like, literally been trying to kill me. I'm on three allergy medicines, it doesn't even feel like it. It feels like this eye is about to pop out of my socket right now. Um, I've sneezed about like 32 times, no, um, I sneezed about 32 times as of like 11 o'clock this morning, and I've sneezed like at least 30 times more since then. Um, it's almost 2 o'clock. Um, my nose has finally stopped running. <laughs> but yeah, that's what, it's life with, well, that's what it's like with life with allergies. So, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you. It's spring, as you can see. Look how pretty it is. Everything's all pretty and blossoming. And here comes a car. Um, it's driving down, and driving past. Making a lot of noise. Letting in so am I. Um, so are the birds, as you can hear them. There are a lot of birds here. So yeah, I'm just gonna read a few more chapters in my book and then I'm gonna go continue on my day. And I guess that's good for now. And I'll see you, I guess I will see you all all a little later.
Good afternoon, viewers. How is everyone doing? So, a little update. I am almost done with this book, about 100 pages left to go. And all I can say it was, for those of you who haven't read it, is that was a tough nut to crack. I hope you'll get that. And other news, she's pregnant again. And she's ready to give birth at any moment. Ready, I should say. Wanna say hello to the internet, peeps? Peeps? Baby? I don't know if you can see how big she is, but she is pretty big. She almost looks like a football again. We think she has at least four kitties inside her. We can't wait for them to be born. Right, Phoebe? Right, Phoebe? How's the little Prager mamas? The expected mama? <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Hello, that's pretty much it for right now. Uh, we'll give you an update once I finish the book. And everything else is going great, so once again, it's allergy season and I need to start counting my sneezes. Uh, the other day, even with the allergy medicine, I sneezed at least 40 times. So uh, my record so far when counting my sneezes was an average about 30 sneezes a day. Can you believe that? 30 sneezes. How many, how many times do you, do you, do you have to sneeze? Is it, is it around 30? Like, is it just me? But I don't think many, that many people sneeze that many times in a day. I don't think I did. And I know I definitely top 30, at least close to 40, maybe even 50 sneezes in a day. I'm going to start counting again from midnight to midnight. So hopefully starting tonight. Um, so that's about it. And we'll see you a little later. Yep, she's Prager's and she's close. Look how big she is. I don't know if you could see it, but when she walks, she looks like a pack mule. Go ahead and walk. She's going to look like I'm not your pony. Can you walk with a camera? Just walk. She's frequently going into her nesting bed, which is in the closet, too. Which I think we're, which means we're getting close. What you want to do? Left or right? You want to step the camera? <laughs> you want to say hello to the interweb? Aww. Yeah, she's also becoming very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Emotionally attached to me? She follows me everywhere. She has to lay down next to me, no matter where I am. Or tries to, wherever I am. She doesn't seem to like me leaving the house or any moment of time. Like, where are you going? Hey, get back here. Don't you know I'm two months Pragers? Pretty much, said, well, pretty much, that's pretty much the look on her face. I mean, not Pragers, but yeah, expecting. <laughs> she looks like she swallowed a cantaloupe whole. <laughs> See, look how big she is. That's, and I have really long fingers, supposedly. That's what most people tell me. And I believe. So, see, look how big she is. As far as we can tell, she got pregnant on um, February 22nd. It's now April 17th at 1.30 in the morning-ish. So last time she got pregnant on Valentine's Day and she had the it was her last litter on April 22nd. So if you go by that scale she probably won't give birth until May. But it just doesn't seem like it. She is really big. But she can still lay on her stomach. And I remember last time um, when she got close to her to labor, she couldn't even lay down on her stomach. She could only lay down on her sides or on her 
back if she tried. So far, she she'll, she still thinks like she can do that, but she doesn't do it very often. It's your last one. No more litters. She's looking at me. Yeah, you always say that. I always find a way. Yep, you do. Life always finds a way. See that? Hear that, people? Ian Malcolm was right. Okay, so hopefully I can get some footage of her walking around in the daytime tomorrow. So I really want to get that archived for future prosperity. It's, nighttime lighting in this place is really bad. And it's all environmental FCLs and LEDs. <laughs> So that's all for now. Say good night. There's some daytime footage of her walking. Look how big she is. She's wondering what to be doing. Yay, hi princess. Watch you walk. You want to be here? Well, that tissue was just in my pocket. Oh, there we go. It's paper towel. Oh, so that, that's the paper towel I used to clean that cup. Your, um, wait, this is the one you used to clean your, your, your water bowl, right? I don't know, it's still it's doing here. Hi, Amber. Yep, see how big she is? Yep, she got big kitty kitty. Again, look how big she is compared to my hand. Which is very big, but I have very, I'm told I have very long fingers. She's so lovey dovey now. Yay. She spends most of her time by and sometimes in her nursing bed now, which is in the closet back there. You can barely see it, that little box right there. Where are you going? Come back. Phoebe. Amber. Say hello, sweetums. Say hello to the, say hello to the interweb audience. Baby, baby, come here. I have to say she looks like a little um, pack mule. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoy this little update. Say goodbye, Pete. Say goodbye. Say goodbye.